Good day, Ox. How are you doing? I'm doing a whole lot better now. We've got a pressure washer on the farm. FSG, I couldn't hold out any longer. <laughs> I was going to see in who buckled first and, uh, like, true to form, it was you. <laughs> it's taken every ounce of my willpower not to come in and clean everything, but we do have a pressure washer now, so we'll be able to spend a little bit of time while we don't have too much to do getting everything cleaned and uh, put away properly. But we do have some jobs to do first. We do. It's a bit of a lull before the cotton harvest storm, really, isn't it? So, um, yeah, we've got a few bits and pieces to do. A bit of um, weeding. Um, and uh, I think you've picked up a contract, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. So the uh, all, all the sunflower we planted last time has weeds in it, so we're going to get in and spray that. And, yeah, we picked up a cultivating contract on a field just for something to fill the gap before, uh, yeah, like you say, before the big cotton harvest. All right, sounds good. Um, so what will we do first? We'll get the weeds out of the way. Yeah, I reckon we'll get too much further. Yeah, let's do our own work before we worry about someone else's. All right, sounds like a plan. Any you... preference on sprayer? Oh, I don't self mind. Self-propelled or pull behind? I used the self-propelled last time, but I know you spent a lot of time on that the first time we sprayed, so if you wanted to, you can choose. Um, yeah, I think I'll maybe go with the pull behind for a bit of a change. Okay. Very goodly. Let's uh, let's go and get to it. I don't know whether you want to tackle a field each. There's no point trying to work in the same field together, is it? No, these booms are so big, they will just get through it pretty quick. Anyway. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I think the self-propelled is probably a bit more manoeuvrable around power poles, so I'll tackle this one here by the yard if you want to head down. Start in the big fields right. down, down the bottom. Yeah, I'll get started down there. Sounds All right. good. Excellent. We'll catch up with you soon. Yes, indeed. Cheers, mate. Yes, hello everyone. Welcome back to Aussie Farms and Aussie Farms with a pressure washer. Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't do it any longer. I logged in and I thought, no, we need one. Well, I know we talked about it last week and said we need to get some things done, but uh, it is going to be nice to be able to go through. I think if he's too scared of it, he doesn't want to come very close, does he? Running away. Um, but yeah, like I said, it will be nice to get in here and give some of this stuff a clean because you know, planters, cedars, combines, everything is filthy and it's sort of just sitting out there waiting for it to rain and there is actually a little bit of that forecast in the not too distant future so hopefully we can get in and get everything sprayed before we run into any trouble with that so i am going to jump up here into the self-propelled we're going to head down we'll have to go and top up on some herbicide we're going to use that uh that fill station that's just up above the farm we'll go and get some up there and then we'll go and get started look at how filthy this is as well we'll drive in cab for a little bit i didn't actually do much of that last time uh we'll head on down here what have we got 16 percent so a thousand liters out of our six thousand three hundred so we'll go down and buy five thousand and a little bit and we're going to get this topped up and then we are going to go and tackle that field that fsg planted uh it's going to be a bit of a challenge with the booms and getting them around the power lines but i think we'll be able to manage that not too much difficulty particularly with some gps enabled and uh, we'll get in there and get it done so we head on over we're going to get things filled up and get down and make a start so herbicide bought, we bought 5,200 litres which should take us up to 6,236, just short of course of that 6,300 litre capacity seemed to be the easiest way to get it filled up to pretty much full, uh, we'll just watch that go up and then we will head on over now, I don't know what FSG is going to do, I know he will obviously be getting one of the tractors hooked up, I don't know if he was going to try and empty the Demcos out and use those as well or whether he was just going to rely on the capacity there in the sprayer but there we go 6234 litres I was two litres out of my memory but let's head on over go and get things unfolded and make a start on some spraying ah there we go he's got the 7R out which makes sense slightly smaller tractor no Demcos or anything on it but good excuse to use that little one he must be heading down to the fill station there as well I know there is one I think down near those fields that he possibly could have used but uh safe to say you might as well head down full and top up down there if you need to rather than get down there and find there was none available but we're just about over here and we'll get on over just past these trees head on in and get things unfolded now i'm giving it some thought what i might try something a little bit different we might try and run a line across the power lines and split this into sort of half because i don't think we're going to get down between these just because of the size of them um but we'll figure it out. Let's go and have a look and see once we get things unfolded here. I think that could be a way to minimise the disruption of trying to get in and around and through them uh, if we were to just to run down each side. And we might miss a few just on the gap in between, but I think we'd get 
the majority of the wheat. Let's have a look. We actually move over a few rows just looking at where we are there. So, that's us all unfolded. That's us all aligned up with the edge of the field. Yeah, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? In fact, if we lower it down, here we go. That's an even better read on how we're looking. So, let's just set things up and get some GPS up and going, and we'll make a start. There we are, a GPS enabled. Those lines all look like they're in a pretty good spot. So, looks like we're going to make it clear past the power lines there, the power poles, without any issues. So, what we're going to do... We'll head around the field once, and when we get over to the other side, that might be where I decide whether we split it up into two. I think it's going to be the best option. Saves us having to negotiate each and every one of those power poles, and uh, it should make things just a little bit easier for us to get done. So we'll carry on. We'll stop when we get around there and see how it all comes together. Here we are in front of the power poles. Now what I'm planning to do, I'm going to turn and head that way. As you can see from this angle, there's no way we're going to make it down past there. So we can try and judge this about right. We hit across on the angle. That will leave us this part of the field to do. We could even try and actually just jockey in and out between each one. Let's see if we can get a little bit of an overlap. We can do that as we come back the other side. We should manage to get most of the weeds from around these areas so this should work out all right i think so let's carry on we'll jump into a little bit more of a time lapse and see when we're done I think that should be us just about done. We'll double check the map and see if we've missed any little patches. There could be a little section just in the corner there, but I reckon we've done a pretty good job at covering the field. Let's just take a look at the map and see. Well, I'll tell you what, apart from the little bit down here around that first telegraph pole, which we could have driven straight up to and sort of knocked that part out, I'm pretty happy about how well we managed to cover that without having to go around each and every single one of those, which probably saved us a lot of time and probably a lot of herbicide as well so we are all done uh, six percent left we'll give fsg a call get this folded up and while it's doing that we'll give him a yell and see what he is up to whether he needs a hand down there or not or whether he is going to get it all done himself arxid fsg go ahead ox i am all finished up here how are you tracking down that way Nice, I'm just doing the headlands on one of the first big fields. I've done the small field, so um, there's a nice big field sitting here with your name on it. Okay, I will head on over. Now, is there a fill station over next to those fields? I have a feeling there, there is, is, yes. Perfect. All right, I will come over and you make use of that one and uh, give you a hand to get that finished. Splendid. All See right. you in a minute, mate. See you soon. Bye. All right, there we go. We're going to head down and carry on giving FSG a hand down in these other fields. So here we are, just arriving down here at the fields, now in here on the left, I believe is our little refill station, you can see FSG just over there in the distance, in the furthest of the two big fields, but let's just go, in fact we have to go the whole way around this, to get to the uh, field side, looks like the same arrangement that we have down at the other field, let's just have a look and see if FSG's bought any here yet, no, 
Doesn't look like it. So, we're going to get this one topped up. Uh, where can we go? Squeeze through here. Yes, we can. Over to the pump. Have a look and see about getting some herbicide into here. There we go. Um, how much are we going to put in? We'll put in 5,000. See how far that gets us. And get that topped up with that. And uh, we're going to get started in this big field here. Alright, there we are. 5,417 litres. 85% should go a long way, particularly if FSG jumps across and gives us a hand. That should go a long way to getting this all done. Turn off our uh, hazard lights there at the top. Our beacon lights don't need those turned on at the moment. So, we'll get tuned in here. I um, wonder if we could probably just about use the same GPS. We might even see how that lines up. In fact, let's just have a look. If I turn my lines on, a little bit of offset, so maybe we'll try and set up a new one when we get down the other end. Get that all unfolded. Don't want to be putting any herbicide there into the waterway, into the irrigation canal, so we will just move ourselves over just a touch. Alright, there we go. Lower that down a little bit. Get turned on, and we will go and start getting this field outlined, and then getting the middle done. Should work out just perfectly. Well there we go, we've made it through that field with hardly making a dent in the tank, still 34% of the tank left, so that's good, everything is all done, so we'll be able to get this now folded up, FSG's been hanging around on the edge of the field, I think he had the drone up, trying to get some clever shots of us spraying, but we'll go down and have a chat to him, see what he's up to, see what the plan is now, I'll probably head down, try and do that cultivating contract, before we uh, run the pressure washer over some of this equipment to give it a good clean, and I'll tell you what, the sprayer, is starting to need a very very good clean that went pretty well rapid work right mm, yeah these sprays make short work of those fields um did you see my sprayer though i did i was just talking about it actually how caked in mud is oh, especially that uh, left hand door i'll tell you what i was coming down the road and there was some protesting vegan hippies on the side of the road who didn't like us using herbicide on the sunflowers something about the sunflower seeds are their omega-3 and uh yeah I had to sort of hightail it out of there really quickly. <laughs> oh dear. They were throwing, like, yeah, throwing yeah, muck like in, the now. Yeah, they were throwing muck and mud and everything at us. Maybe Good go another got a pressure washer then, isn't it? That's right. Maybe go another way back to the yard just to dodge them. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Alright. All right. Very good. Well onto the uh, onto the cultivating contract now, mate, I think. Yeah, we'll go smash that out and then spend a bit of time cleaning some gear. Sounds good. Alright, I'll see you back at the yard. Sounds good. Meet down there. Not quite sure he brought the whole hippie story, but anyhow. Sounded good. Anyway, let's get on back down to the yard. Sort some things out down there and like if FSG said, grab the Cali chains and head on down and knock out that cultivating contract. I'll tell you what, those two those two cultivators behind a couple of the uh, challenges will get that done in no time or whatsoever. 
There's not much point putting this straight back in the yard. I think we're going to park it up next to the fresh washer. It's like FSG's doing the same there with the tow behind. I don't know if he's going to give it a wash now, whether we're going to go straight into the contract, but we've got a fair stack of equipment sitting here. It's going to be needing to give it a good wash at some stage. We'll have a look at that door because I don't think I showed you guys. Look at it. Absolutely I was going to throw it on. in the shed dogs and then uh, I thought that would be uh, that would be silly. Yeah, a little bit counterproductive, wouldn't it? We'd be pulling it back out to give it a wash at some stage. Um, should we do all that at the end and go and start on this cultivating? Yeah, I think so. All right, sounds good. Uh, a couple of challenges and we'll get into it. Makes sense to me. All right. Honestly, I don't think there's anything on the farm that doesn't need a wash in some way, shape or form. Look at these things. They aren't just as filthy as everything else is. Gonna need a good bath. Right, let's go over. He's, geez, he's decided to reverse the whole way over there and find what he's going to get hooked up to. Where's he heading down towards? Looks like he's going to head towards the second one. So we'll take this front one here. Get swung in and hooked up to that and head on down and make a start on field 17. It's uh, right up the top of the, the map. We head on up past our cotton field like we're heading towards the co-op, uh, but if we don't turn off, it's just the one right up there, so. Plus we'll connect it up, uh, we'll beat FSG, we'll get out first and go down and make a start. So it looks like this was a field of alfalfa previously, looks like it's been mown, probably baled, sold off to a cattle farm somewhere, something like that, maybe shipped off somewhere, not sure, but here we go, get this unfolded, hopefully FSG doesn't drop his down into the cotton, we should give him a little bit more space. Um, we'll get these done, and this field's not going to take very long. It's a decent size, least amount of area in here, but we know already the speed and power of these things. So, get the other one lowered down, Let's see if we are good to go. There we are, that's all looking pretty good, and uh, straight into some cultivating. We'll crack into it, we'll set up a bit of a GPS course somewhere, probably along the longer edge when we get up the top there, share that with FSG. And then it's just a case of getting this done. It's a pretty easy way to make 20 grand if you ask me. Well, right with this GPS all set up, we are just going to make a start, crack into this one, get it all done, get given that money from that farmer. See you in just a little bit. Possibly the easiest twenty thousand dollars we've ever made for doing that field. Don't know what time we started doing it, but I do know it's not taken us very long at all. Uh, FSG made the point while we were chatting that covers the herbicide costs we just paid for, so we'll be back about where we started the episode off, which is good, I suppose. Get another farmer to pay for all our herbicide at the expense of having to uh, cultivate a field form. But I didn't actually see whether the contract complete popped up or not. We'll have to take a look. I know there's a couple of little spots we might have missed, but we'll jump on over, get to the edge of the field, and whether we accept the contract or complete the contract. In fact, let's put some cruise control on. We'll have a look as we head on over. Yeah, easy, easily completed. Right, we'll click that. Get that 20 grand into our account. No more contracts or anything to do. FSG 2 Arcs. Go ahead, mate. Oh, that was going to tidy up those little bits that we'd missed, but oh. you wanted to complete the contract. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> I, I accepted the contract, I completed it, so. Ah, <laughs> uh, there we go. All right. you're, a, you're a diligent farmer, aren't you? Yeah, it's less, it's less about that, more about my OCD. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, I solved that for you. Thanks, mate. There we go, anyhow, back up to about 106 grand, which I think at the start of the episode we were on about 105, so. 
like we said, it's pretty much paid for everything. So there's only one task left to do for us before we're in here harvesting this still growing cotton. And that is to give everything a darn good wash down. So we'll go and start queuing up some equipment. I don't know what's going to be the best way to do it. Almost worth buying a second pressure washer, but maybe one of us can be washing and the other can be shuffling things around and getting it put away. So let's go and make a start on the washing. See if FSG wants to get things moved or whether he wants to be doing the washing or not. So uh, we'll figure it out. But anyhow, go and park up over here. Hopefully our uh, washer hose is long enough that we can get to a few different bits of equipment at once. Ah. I don't think I've ever been so satisfied in farm some. Look at that dirt just disappearing. Beautiful. That looks much better than it did a minute ago. Alright, look at that. FSG's even onto it. And he is into that. And he is taking it away. So, let's carry on. Get on over here to the next one. Get that one done. And hopefully, by the time he's back, we'll have something else ready for him to put away too. of the pieces of equipment we need to clean but how good does that look now um just look i can't even put this down it just wants to stay in my hands can't even get rid of it right we'll just run away from it and it'll give us the warning that we're getting too far away and then it'll disappear right there we go but look at all this equipment you could probably give the lime spreaders they could probably do with a quick little spray and we haven't done the air cuts are the only things as well that we're lacking but all in all everything is looking so much cleaner so much better being around here right let's go and find fsg see what he's up to because i just see he's enabled super strength so we might go and catch him out cheating oh it looks like he's trying to back the combines in with those headers on them so not the easiest task by any shot but he's doing a pretty good job there actually it's not too bad Alright, we might as well go and jump in the other one and get that in there as well. It's like a glove. Just like that. Just like that. They look nice, clean and put away, don't they? They do. Yeah, we should do yeah. that more often. We should. We should make a point of it. Well, short and sweet, this one, Marks. It was. Um, What do you reckon? We just get time forward and see if we can get this cotton ready to go. Yeah, we'll get things primed and ready for uh, maybe a Christmas live stream or something. Yeah, it could be a good idea. Right. Let's uh, give me a minute. Let's accelerate a little bit of time. So we can turn that cotton into a nice shade of uh, white and brown. Sounds good. Well, Args, early on an April morning and it looks like our cotton is good to go. Yes, it's uh, looking pretty good actually looking out there across those fields. Especially like you say, that, uh, that morning sunrise looking very, very splendid indeed. So we've got these two fields here, and the one over by the sheep. Um, so yeah, we, we, uh, we've we got a lot to do here. We do, we have got a lot to do, so I think. Uh, timing as it is, could we make a great live stream next weekend? It definitely could, I think you're right. And um, we probably need to think about a couple of bits of equipment to help pick up the cotton, but other than that, I think we're good to go, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, whether we have to get a, I don't know, semi-trailer or a wheel loader or something like that to pick it up. Don't know. We'll figure out. We'll do some research during the week and be here ready to go next week with some uh, nice flash equipment. That's right. That's right. Mm. All right. Well, Excellent. on that note, yeah, we should uh, pack up 
everything's nice and clean and in the shed, so uh, That's right. feels like a good time to finish. Absolutely does. Absolutely. Right. Well, thank you very much. Looking forward to next week. And uh, you have a good one. We'll catch you then. Yeah, likewise, mate. Have a good week. All right. Take care. See you, mate. Bye. Catch you soon. Bye-bye. Cotton as far as the eye can see. And uh, that is going to be our task next time, getting in here and harvesting all that. And like we said, we're going to try and make get it done. See how much we can get done in a live stream. So make sure you tune in for that. Keep an eye out on both our channels for when that is going to be. And hopefully we will see you there. But for this one, that is all from us. As always, thank you all very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed it and we'll catch you in the next one.